This next comedian is originally from Badgers Key, Newfoundland. And he's been performing for audiences for over a decade all across North America. He continues to demonstrate his versatility in each and every venue he occupies. He's one of my favorites, and he's talking to you right now. Next, Greg King. Good night. Hello. Or hello, as they would say back home. Right off the top, guys, I'm going to apologize or apologize for my accent or accent, as they would say back home. You see where I'm from, uh, we drop our H's and we add them or had them into places. Allow me to demonstrate further. You see back home, Hofton, outside the house, we'd all play Aki and Hafter and Hafter heat apples. Back home, often outside the house, we'd all play hockey and after eat apples. <laughs> that sounds much better, don't it? <laughs> now, but see, where I'm from, not only don't we not say it right, we also say it about three times as fast as everybody else would say it. So it comes out as one word. It's like back home, hockey, and so I We'd all play hockey and after eat apples. <laughs> That's what we did. It's true. I swear to God, the alphabet back home is H, B, C, D, H, F, G, H, H, J, K, L, M, N, H, P. Now, I've been uh, an actor and a musician for well over a decade. Uh, I, I worked a lot of comedy before, done scripts, and I worked with a comedy troupe. Uh, but the first time I'd done stand-up um, was actually at a, a great Canadian laugh-off. And uh, I went, I had, they gave me seven minutes, I went 14. So it was a, it was a hard, it was a hard one. First time on, I, I really messed up because timing is so important in, in stand-up, but I didn't see my light, uh, you know. So I, 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 w w that was the first time I stood on stage, but it was a big life lesson. Uh, got up again not long after that and really learned from those experiences. Some day out there tonight, guys, <laughs> isn't it? Rare, as I would call it. Seriously, we got some bad weather in Newfoundland. I'll tell you. And the and the problem is 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 the wind. You know, it's always teetering zero somewhere. You know, a little above, a little below. But it's the wind is the problem. I mean, the wind would rather go through you than around you. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I mean, boys, it rains sideways for God's sakes. I mean. <laughs> Where else in the world? It should be a tourist attraction. Yeah. Notice that the top of your head is relatively dry. Huh? You, could, you could tell. Yeah. Umbrellas are useless. True. Right? I've seen three umbrellas in my life in Newfoundland. One in the garbage and two blowing down the street. Two things I've never heard said in Newfoundland. One is, should I take my coat? And two is, I know, let's open an umbrella store. <laughs> You're not gonna hear that. But as a Newfoundlander, when I go to other places in the world, uh, I don't hide the fact that I'm a Newfoundlander. And I'm, I would still draw on my experiences uh, f for the humor. Uh, so I have no problems I wouldn't cut all my Newfoundland material because, oh, I don't think it will relate well. Because I'm actually thinking of the person who's not from Newfoundland when I use my Newfoundland references. If I wasn't doing music or comedy, I would be making money at something else, I think. Um, just kidding. Um, I guess I would uh, have gotten a job. Might have been a fisherman, like my father, uh, but he gave up the fishery when the moratorium happened, and that's when I made the transition from, uh, you know, maybe a typical outport boy uh, to being something different, which in my area, being an entertainer, it, it was different, and it's a long shot. And it's only because of the work that I've done out there and uh, establishing 
you know, uh, helping establish a festival out there and doing, running a festival myself out there where I'm from that, that I think that it became more of a, a feasible option in life. Whereas if I looked at my mother and father at the age of 15 and said, I'm going to be a comedian, they would have probably said the same joke, you know, how are you going to pay your bills, you know? You know, you want a girlfriend, don't you? Try to persuade me to do otherwise. But, uh, but if I wasn't, I guess I would probably be a minister. The sun, the sun in Newfoundland. You see the sun about as much as a deadbeat dad sees his. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you know it. Uh, and you see it about every second week and occasional holiday, you know? <laughs> Would my friends be surprised if I was a stand-up comic? Yeah, no. No, I was always kind of a funnier guy. Uh, I was lucky. A lot of my friends were really funny. They, a lot of them could be comedians, I think. They just didn't go that way. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're all really funny. Uh, I wouldn't say they'd be surprised. Teachers might have been surprised. I think a lot of teachers probably thought I was going to be nothing. You know, but uh, I showed you. Speaking of guns, that's another thing that's very common where I'm from, where I grew up. <laughs> Shooting stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. And a lot of times it was just to get a better look at it. It's like, <laughs> George, you're right. She is good looking. <laughs> she survives. You should marry her. In songs, you have lyrics. In comedy, you have your words or your, your bits. Um, I guess the second part to writing a song is the music. And I think that if there was an equivalent to music in comedy, it would be probably the timing. That's, that's the way I would, call it. that's the difference in it. Uh, and I think maybe being a musician and, and being familiar with, with musical timing, and, and it did help me on stage. You know, help me uh, pace myself or, or actually get that kind of a, a musical flow to things sometimes. Even though if you're not singing or playing, you can still kind of get this a uh, rhythmic feeling going when you're performing stand-up sometimes and everything goes very smoothly. It's like singing a song right. A lot of my uh, bread and butter uh, comes from being an actor, uh, a musician, uh, a writer. Um, so I make, a, I, I make a lot of bread and butter that way. The jam, yeah, I've had to do a few things to jam that I'm not too happy about. But, uh, you know, you, you just you, you take the jobs, and funny enough, I would say every every entertainer in the business has had moments where they go, "What am I doing? Where's the next job coming from?" And if I think you're, if you're meant to do it, the next job just happens. I was just thinking about Newfoundland, and, and another problem I think that we have we we got a problem with the weather, but I I also think we have a problem. Uh, I think we eat too much. We do now. It's a problem in all over North America. There's a problem with eating too much. Now in Newfoundland, the problem is, is the lunch, right? <laughs> yeah, like in most parts of the world, the lunch is, an entire, is a meal, right? In Newfoundland, it's a whole thing of itself. It's, you know, most places in the world, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. In Newfoundland, it's breakfast, dinner. We took the biggest meal, threw that in the middle, <laughs> and then we got supper. So you got a lunch before dinner, lunch before supper, lunch before bedtime, lunch, lunch, lunch. <laughs> And not a snack either, because if you go in a, in a restaurant in Newfoundland and order a snack, they're going to give you two-piece chicken and chips. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They're, they'll do that. Don't order lunch, guys. Don't order the lunch. Don't. Trust me. <laughs> we, we just we eat too much in Newfoundland. It's true. I don't mean to be coming down hard on Newfoundland, to be honest with you. I, I don't. I, I just, I have a love-hate relationship with Newfoundland. You see, I love it, but it hates me. You see, I have allergies, or allergies, as they would call them back home. 
And uh, I'm allergic to anything that comes out of the ocean. Yeah, see a shellfish, fish, mermaid, <laughs> all of it. Right? And not only am I allergic to anything that comes out of the ocean, I'm also allergic to, get this, the outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Environment, otherwise known as land. Yeah. Which makes me one of the worst Newfoundlanders in the world. I got second place. Lost out to a guy who was also allergic to rubber boots, unemployment insurance, and great big C. I'm Greg King. You're watching Comedy in the City. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Peter Halley of Spirit of Newfoundland, our province's finest catering and production company. And we are proud sponsors of Comedy in the City. Thanks for watching another episode of Comedy in the City. If you're interested in giving stand-up comedy a try, you might want to check out the different open mics offered around the city. Also check out Yuck Yuck's Amateur Night. You might want to give that a try. If you want to send us a comment, please go to rogerstv.com. We'd love to hear from you. Now, get out of here. Go watch some comedy in the city. I'm Greg King. See you next time.